Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about different types of leaves and the color of leaves. So to start off, we're going to be talking about these two leaves here. These are both from the same species, uh, the shining sumac, and are different colors. We'll first start with this red one here. This red one, as you can see, is, well, red. This redness is caused by a chemical in the leaf called anthocyanin. This anthocyanin can change a leaf red or purple. Now let's look at this other leaf right here. You notice that on this leaf, the mid rim of the leaf or the middle vein there is green. The greenness in the vein shows that this leaf is sick or the tree it came from is sick. This shows that it is missing a mineral or has a deficiency in something or is stressed. Another thing about this leaf is it is yellow. This yellowness is called, uh, caused by something called a carotenoid, which is another type of chemical in the leaf that can form. It turns the leaves yellow or orange. Now, you can always have a little bit of both, as in this uh, shining sumac leaf right here. A little bit of green, a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. It has it all. Now, I'm not necessarily sure what exactly is happening with this leaf, aside from the fact that it is sick. Once more, it has that green midrim um, on the vein right there and all across the leaves so that is probably one cause of it all right so now we're going to get into different types of leaves so as you can see here i have a lot of leaves and m the easiest way to identify a leaf is using a dichotomous key for those of you who don't know what a dichotomous key is it is basically the form or way that leaves are found or identified you use it to you use it based on its characteristics say if it's jagged on the sides the point the base or what type of leaf if it's a compound leaf like this or if it's a simple leaf like this those are just some ways to distinguish a leaf but going through the leaves I have here before me, you can see that some of these leaves are different, yet they are the same species. This is a sycamore leaf right here, yet it's very spiky. And then this is also a sycamore leaf right here. Some of these are smaller because they are younger and just got knocked off because of a windstorm. But anyways, this is also a sycamore leaf, but is aged and is browning, which means that it was on the ground for some time. We'll look at these leaves over here. So this right here is a sweet gum. A sweet gum is most easily identified because of its five points. One, two, three, four, five and it's almost shaped like the star. Another way you can identify this leaf is by ripping it apart or ripping it in half, and if you smell it, it'll smell kind of sweet, hence the name. Another way is seeing its seeds, but we're about leaves today. Another leaf I have here is kutsu. Kutsu if anyone's seen it before, it is a leaf from an invasive Asian species, um, well, a species that came from Asia. Currently, it takes over the trees and kills them in the end by vining over. Highly invasive in many different states in America. Some few other notable ones in this little group here are some oaks right over here. I believe this to be a white oak. 
based on the characteristics of the leaf, such as how it's smooth and not jagged on it. But anyways, this right here is a, a maple. You can see as the three points of a maple. And, and I'll stop there just because I'm getting a little bit carried away with it. But yeah, that's leaves. Um, that's the different colors of leaves. And the sickness, if it is sick at all, of leaves. There you go. That is my little rundown of leaves for everyone. Hope you enjoy. See you all next time.